log 27 to the base 12 is A, log 16 to the base 9 is B, log 108 to the base 8, what is that equal to? You notice 12 is 2 square into 3, 27 is 3 cube, 9 is 3 square, 16 is 2 power 4, 8 is 2 cube, 108 is 2 square into 3 cube. We're completely dealing in powers of 2 and 3. So straight away, straight away we can sense that if we know log 2 to the base 3 or log 3 to the base 2, this is just a reciprocal of that, then we are through. There's nothing more to worry about in this. Right? So the whole idea is once we get that, you can approach that. To start with, don't say log 2 to the base 3 does not exist. It exists. It is not a rational number. 3 power something is 2. That something is not a 1 or a 2 or a 1, 3. There's some other number. It's irrational. Right? But we, but it does exist. That idea is important. Right? Log 3 to the base 2 or log 2 to the base 3. One of these two we need to find. Now let's start with this. I want to start with this because 16 and 9 are both powers of 2 and 3 uniquely. Let's simplify that. Log 16 to the base 9 is B. Log 16 by log 9 to any base is B. Let me choose the base as 3. Why 3? Because I want to remove the denominator. I'll deal with the numerator alone. B3, let this be 3. Log 9 to the base 3 is 2. 3 square is 9. Or we know that log 2 power 4 to the base 3 is 2B. I'm going to simplify that. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and then simplify this. 4 times log 2 to the base 3 is 2B. Or log 2 to the base 3 is B by 2. We know that log 3 to the base 2 should be equal to 2 by B. Both of these we know. This is the reciprocal of that. That we have simplified. Now let's focus our attention on log 108 to the base 8. This is log 4 to the base 8 plus log 27 to the base 8. Log 4 to the base 8 is log 4 by log 8 which is 2 by 3. If I choose the base as 2 plus log of 3 cube to the base 2 cube. 3 cube to the base 2 cube. Log will be nothing but log 3 to the base 2. Very simple. Because the same power it will cancel each other out. Or the number we are looking for. This is equal to 2 by 3 plus log 3 to the base 2. Now, log 3 to the base 2 is 2 by b. That we have done. So this is 2 by 3 plus 2 by b. LCM is 3b. The numerator would be 2b plus 6. So we are looking for 2b plus 6 by 3b. Now this might not be among the answer choices. In which case we will have to simplify using a, a and b combinations all of that. Let us just check this whether this is in the answer choices. 2b plus 6 by 3b. 2a plus 6 does not work. 2a plus 6 does not work. 2b plus 6 by 3a. That is not what you are looking for. 2b plus 6 by 3b. This is the answer. Answer choice D, 2B plus 6 by 3B. And these kind of questions are important. These kind of questions are becoming more common where there is one unit of algebra and one unit of logarithms. Somehow you will have to combine these two and simplify. So you need to know the base change rules, the logarithm rules really well. And then you will need to get more and more comfortable with, with manipulating terms. So first step, isolate what primes are involved. Here only 2s and 3s are there. So everything will be in terms of either log 3 to the base 2 or log 2 to the base 3. So we find one of the two, you are through. So anchor your question around finding that log 3 to the base 2 or log 2 to the base 3. If the 2, 3 and 5, then 2 to the base 3, 5 to the base 3, two things you will need to find. So find that underlying entity, everything else can be worked around based on that.